Hello everybody, my name's Indigo, and I'm uh, obviously a blue monkey maker, and I'd like to make a little video on what I've been doing for the last 15 years with making colloidal silver and other metals as well. Generally my video channel is to do with music. Now, See this yellow here? That is the perfect colour of colloidal silver. I do have a PDS machine and, and all that other stuff, but I don't need it because yellow is the nano colour of colloidal silver, as gold is magenta. Anyway, a couple of things I'd like to talk about is this is a magnetic stirrer for newbies. As you can see, it's got a temperature and it's got a speed which i'll play with it a bit now because it's i've finished see fast slow and what that does is that enables the conductivity throughout the whole jar to be fairly even so you, i don't get a build up of silver particles so if it's not running at a nano um, then the conductivity will get stronger now i'm not using salt I'm not using anything but fresh water and this has taken approximately one hour and it is one litre. Now, believe it or not, how did I do that? With this transformer, I don't know if we can see that or not, probably not. I know with my eyes I can't see it. I'll try a bit of light on it, but it is only not too bright. Anyway, it's about 15 volts 14 volts or something like that sorry oops so 14 volts now the second thing that i do to be able to get this color and to do it with such low voltage is i use lovely big electrodes as you can see that's quite dark but it's not like I started like everyone else with those little kits and remember if it went like this you had the cleaning it would be like trying to clean them all the time I mean I use a sander to clean these but let's have a look at the top and see how much stuff is in there I'll turn the thing off and I can get that out with a spoon and then it is just I might just keep the thing spinning so it stays there so I can just get it out with a spoon so a heater very important but I don't have a boiling what I do is uh, so I have it pretty hot but not boiling you probably can see a bit of steam coming off there so let's just say it's just under simmer all right so where are we now these silver where the heck did he get them from silver bullion and what i did is i cut them up and i'll get into another video and talk about how to get a nice big silver chunk like that and the thing is is that this water costs me nothing because the price of this silver although silver doesn't go up much in price the silver that I bought here was about um, $300 or something. But the time it takes for me to use at least $50 of this silver, the price of it would have probably gone up over $50. <laughs> so make money. Not that that's a thing for me anyway. Oops, my finger, sorry. Okay, please subscribe to the video and keep up with my updates that I'll try to go with how to cut silver. Um, I'll be doing some magnesium, zinc, and some copper. Since I got the bigger electrodes, I started getting into these for copper. And wow, what a difference that makes. As I said, I don't need a starter to get it going. I don't need the salt which is so much better. It makes such a big difference to the actual chemical um, uh, 
composition at the end anyway. It's just pure nanoparticle silver. All right, bye for now. Please subscribe and any questions just ask and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you, bye.